can't remember the name of the band, but they were very good. And all of the California guys knew, knew them. So, and we got a very good price for them because... They were on the way. Yeah. They were in the neighborhood. Was in roof. <laughs> so I think we got him for about $900. Mm. Had a great band, uh, pants, Hi. and we had punch. Because it was on the base, we figured we couldn't have alcoholic drinks. So we had punch, a big punch ball. And we were in a meeting just before the dance, and one fellow said, I spiked the punch. <laughs> and a second guy said, so did I. Oh. <laughs> a third guy said, so did I. <laughs> I don't but remember. It must have been steaming. <laughs> but everybody had a good time, and we went on our way up to San Francisco. And we were supposed to be at the church at 5 o'clock in the evening. But we were in the car, rushing about 5.20 or 5.30. All of a sudden I said, we have no ring. Screech. We found a jeweler. That one. We were on our way. And I said, no flowers. We had no flowers. I had to find a florist, pick out some flowers. Got back, we showed up about 10 minutes of 6, and the priest was all smiles. He said, I, I know what goes with you guys. Yeah, he knew what it was uh, for the military. And, he was very nice. Uh, and these were Paula spotters, and I got this lead with, the, with the, my girlfriend, uh, Dot Conklin, whose brother was a Paulist, and she worked for the Paulists right in New York. At, 59th Street, they had a big, what was the name of that church? My, fa my father, it turned out, was converted from that church. And we were married in the Paulist Church in California. Yeah, the, uh, because I wasn't a Catholic, we were married in the church, but outside the altar rail. And at that time, if I had been married at home in my own parish, I would have had to be married in the rectory priests' living quarters. They didn't allow non-Catholics into the church if they were marrying a Catholic. Whose is that? We'll just let it ring. <laughs> is it yours? Yeah. Oh, sure. So, what? You finished with the war, I hope. <laughs> well, no, we still have the, um... Oh. Oh. The, uh... Two of my buddies from the Army, from the Air Force, were witnesses. Neither one of them were Catholic. So the priest had to provide two Catholic witnesses to the ceremony. And he did. A, young, a guy Hello. and a gal. Yeah. Hey, Peg, how you doing? Peg? Uh, I'm uh, with that mom and dad's with Trey. Is that Peg? What's up? No. Where did you stay yeah. last night? Tom's. We're not done. Where are you staying tonight? Tom's. Are you going home tomorrow? That's awesome. Yeah. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. In the yep. evening. Yep. yep. Not a.m. Right. How much is a cab from the airport to his house? Uh, it was 35. 35? Mm -hmm. That's too much. Yeah. Could have rented a car for less than well, that. Well, how much? Well, they'll drive you to the airport, I'm sure, tomorrow. Uh, he is north. Yeah, I know. No, he's west. West and north. No, he's, yeah, a, he's not really that. He's west. West. He's out in east Texas. Yeah. <laughs> when we first used to drive out there, the first few times, you know, it was, we weren't in the habit of going that way. And, uh, Dad would say, oh, we're coming to East Texas. <laughs> Is that still running? Yeah. Oh, we better be quiet. So we got married. We went to the top of the mark. <laughs> He's got it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, go ahead. The two of us. The, the, the ceremony started at 10 minutes of 6. At 6 o'clock, I was outside the church thinking, wow, that was fast. <laughs> uh, they didn't stand on ceremony, but the war on. As long as one person was a Catholic, they didn't say, oh, he can't be married, you know. Mm. He looked like he had a kind They asked all of my intentions. Yes, they did do that. I met the requirements. But anyway, uh, this fellow who was local uh, took us up to the Chico. Mark Hopkins. Oh, well. Oh. oh, we went to the Mark Hopkins. For dinner. For dinner. Our wedding dinner, uh, all along. And up on top of the Mark for dancing. And, and dining. And. Uh, oh, we stayed in the place where you stayed before we were married. In that place, the servicemen. Oh. Did we go? No, I don't think we went to a hotel. Yeah, we stayed at a hotel. We did? But uh, we got to bed at about 1 o'clock, and about 4 o'clock we had to get up to go to Chico. So His was friend was coming no, over to pick us up. Almost no sleep. And we got up to Chico, and it was about 8 o'clock, and I had to report in by 9. And, and him too. So I jumped out of the car, went into the hotel, and registered Mr. and Mrs. And jumped out of the car, gave you a kiss, and left you on the sideboard <laughs> on my way to the air base. You and, uh, what was his name? McManus, Bill McManus. Bill, Bill McManus. Um, you told me a story before about how you were playing basketball and that was still later. Oh, still yeah. later. Okay, we haven't gotten there yet. Really? Yeah. Did you finish your uh, we three were phases? Twenty fours. Yeah. Block. Oh, you were training in B twenty fours. Yeah. And you were the co-pilot, and he was the captain. Don't jump there. <laughs> the uh, basic school at Chico was excellent. The planes were good. What kind were they? And trainers, another kind of trainer. No? Used to know it. I'd have to look in the In the books, book. yeah. Each phase of the training, you got a, like a, a yearbook when you graduate from high school. So we want to know something. We look in those books. We still have them all. Pre-flight, primary, basic, and uh, advanced. advanced. Once you got through primary, you knew that you were going to make it. You practiced stalls and spins until you were practically dizzy. Uh, got through Chico, all right, basic school, and went to advanced school. Texas. And Bill McManus yeah. went there. In Marfa, Texas, of all places. Yeah, Texas. It was the most easterly of the West Coast Training Command. <laughs> and he had a car, and he agreed to take me and a friend of mine, whose husband was in the group with him, and drive us to Martha, Texas. I don't remember ever having to stay in a hotel. I think we must have just kept going until we got there. I think straight. So. Jen and I and Bill McManus. Uh, Marfa, Texas was twin engine planes. And uh, we were enjoying the training. And there was a sudden storm with pretty heavy hail. hail. And the wings were covered with canvas. And the hail went right through the canvas. 